Hi, today we're going to talk about how to take your plants across cities or across continents or across countries. And uh, I have recently had an experience in bringing a beautiful Monstera Albo uh, from my Gangtok trip to Kolkata. I was extremely nervous because it was the first time I was bringing a plant from another city. And uh, what happened was uh, essentially I got a full pot. Uh, with a plastic pot uh, with coco peat rich soil uh, with two nodes and kind of the side of a plant. Uh, when I got that plant, uh, the pot was relatively light and uh, I what I immediately did was I saw some cello tape and uh, some brown paper which is available in any stationery shop and I collected as much tissue paper as much possible through various restaurants and hotels and everywhere. Uh, so on the final day when I was supposed to leave for the flight, till the point I had no flight plans what i did was i simply kept it in normal lighted areas and i watered it a little bit because soon after we uh, actually it would have been better if we could get a cardboard hard wrapping uh, packing material around it but we didn't i had to make do with a thin cardboard paper but i bought multiples of it so that it was completely compact and all the leaves were settled nicely so even if someone bumps into it there's no damage to the leaves directly, at least not if, un unless somebody tears it up. Uh, once I reached the airport, I immediately confirmed with uh, the airlines that uh, do you allow pots? They said yes, as long as it's not metal pots. Uh, it's preferable if you take a rooted plant to your destination. In case you have a soiled potted plant, uh, you can take it. I chose to take it with me in the uh, hand baggage. Uh, so I had to make sure that it was properly wrapped so that when once I put the pot on the tray, it doesn't kind of, the soil doesn't loosen up. As long as there's no metal container or a metal pot uh, and it's a plastic pot, you can take pot plants for you, with you. And uh, they had absolutely no problem in the Bagdodra airport. Uh, they didn't even ask me, what is that? or. It, it seemed to me like it was a very common thing as long as you're not taking in something metallic. Uh, packing I did carefully by wetting the tissue paper with water the day before the flight, the night before the flight. And I put about 200 milliliters of water, just enough to keep the top part of it moist and packed it with tissue papers and put a cello tape to completely block off the soil so that the moisture remained inside and uh, the plant doesn't go into a shock. And then I covered it entirely, wrapped it up and uh, put it in the cabin normally. Uh, in the flight, during the flight, if it's a long flight for you, it might be a problem because uh, the pot, I had to keep it on my lap uh, and I also had another hand baggage. So, but strangely enough, the um, air hostesses did not asked me to put this plant on the top because that would have gotten damaged. Uh, generally, it's against the rules that you have something on your lap during takeoff and landing. Uh, so you might, I was prepared to put the pot on the top if there was space, but there was no space actually. Uh, I had packed it well enough so that it can be seamlessly put in like in the tray, uh, it can be put in on the top uh, of your seats. But I had it in my lap throughout and uh, it was very uncomfortable, but uh, it survived. So it's well and good. Um, that's pretty much my story. It was very, I was very anxious if I, if the plant would have been taken away from me because by the officials or security officials, I was very, very nervous about it because it was a very beautiful plant and uh, it wasn't taken by someone. So I was very, very happy. It was very anxious. So it's for anyone who is planning to travel with plants. And uh, I searched for a lot of resources online. Nobody had clarified this part to me. So prefer to take cuttings. Cuttings are absolutely a no brainer. They won't do anything for cuttings at all. You can just put it in a plastic, put it in your suitcase, put it in your handbag, they won't care. Even root, rooted uh, plants without soil is also fine. Even packed, small packed soil, uh, cello taped and plastic, and then that will also not cause any problem. And I bought a big potted plant that was also not a problem. So as long as it's not a metallic container, they won't have a problem with that.
you can bring in the metallic pot separately uh, in uh, the baggage but not in the cabin baggage they don't allow anything metal or something like that so that's pretty much it make sure that your uh, moss pool does not have any sharp pointy stuff or, or uh, metallic a lot of times there are metal wire wires uh, which is holding the plant together in my case it was completely plastic 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 moss pool with coco coir and everything so no problem at all so if you are someone like me is very anxious of taking your plant back to your home you have sourced it from somewhere you're visiting don't worry about it at all just make sure that you speak to the airlines once you reach the airport bye